Hey everybody, it's the Beehees. We got Mr. Brian here. Hello. And Levi hey. and Max. All right, and we wanted to take a minute and just say hello to everybody because we have missed seeing you. And it might be a little bit longer before we get to see you again. So did you want to say anything, Levi? Well, just that I really miss you guys and hope you're doing well. Max, you want to say anything? Um That's all right. We can come back to you when you think of it. Actually, no, don't. Oh, um, you remember? Okay, go ahead. Um, happy, happy to be taking this video with you. I'm really happy and hope we get to be doing this again. Oh. I'm doing one again. Yeah, absolutely. And so I wanted to take a minute and just say hello to all of my TNT Awana clubbers. And like I said, tell you that we miss seeing you, but we're looking forward to getting back together. And, um... Most of you that go to school, unlike these guys that are homeschooled, you guys are off for a little while here, and so you have some extra free time on your hands. And I think it's a great time to um, focus a little bit uh, more on your Awana books and keep moving in those sections so that when we get back together, we're going to be able to pick up right where we should be and be able to say those verses and look at your sections and give you credit for it and it's a great time to be able to learn your verses really well and dig into God's Word and focus on uh, the different lessons and the truth that uh, they are bringing to you so some things that you could do would be to um, work on some of those extra credit silver sections that you may not always have time to get to, but now that you have a little bit of extra time, you could do some of that extra book work and earn some extra Awana bucks when you get back. And um, that would be great practice for studying God's Word. And don't forget about those gold sections that have those extra verses. If you say any of those verses, you'll get some extra Awana bucks when we're back together. And as you work through, if you want to have your mom or dad uh, listen to your verses, and they can give their initials on those sections, and we'll take a look at those when you get in, back in club, and we'll give you give you the credit that you're due for that. And uh, so those are a couple of things that you can do in your free time. I also wanted to just remind all of my clubbers that God is in control, and that even though things are a little different right now than they have really ever been before, this is not a surprise to God. He knows exactly what's going on. He is in control. And um, we can put our full faith and trust in Him and in the fact that His Word tells us that He is a sovereign God. And one other thing I wanted to leave you guys with is that we as Christians, anytime that there is uncertainty or that things are hard or that people might be a little scared about what's going on or a little confused, we can be lights in the darkness for those people. And don't be afraid and don't be shy to tell people that your faith through all of this is in your Savior, Jesus Christ. And look for opportunities to say that to people that are in your life. And you're probably your parents are probably going to be calling family and um, your relatives and some friends, and we can all be lights of hope and lights of positivity, and we can point towards Jesus, our Savior, who is our source of hope and peace, and God will be glorified through that. So I just want you all to uh, remember those truths and remember that we love you and we can't wait to get back together with you, right? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. See ya. Okay, bye. Bye.